Welcome back, Danglers, to the great outdoors. And today we're getting an early start to the day to go meet up with my buddy John B to do some camping and, of course, some fishing. A little bit of a science experiment going on here. If you if you ever want to like <laughs> look up what a dumpster fire of a boat <laughs> is on Google, just don't even bother. Swing by my house. It pops up. Take a gander. Yeah, <laughs> she pops right up. See, I'm trying some new batteries. I'm running 236 in the front. I'm running the parallel. 236 for the trolling? trolling motor. Yeah, I'm running in parallel. So I got like you got monster power. Though. I got like 100 amp hour. Basically, because they're two fifties. Just in case we break down on the water. On the water. Yeah. We can, That's we can change it out. Oh man, I love it. I let every boat has a story. John has John's boat has many My stories. Boat, this boat story is crying for help. <laughs> so in the next few videos, you guys are going to see me and John traveling around to a few different lakes and doing some camping and, and fishing. But I'm excited to show y'all a transition in the bite from my last few bass fishing videos. It's going to a major plastic bite. You guys are going to see us slay bass on plastics. And this is not a lack of effort for fishing hard baits. We really fished a lot of hard baits. We're just watching this transition take place where the fish are going up shallow and they're not as aggressive, but we still managed to catch a bunch of them. No. I, I mean, how are we not gonna see one on a bed back in here? This is like clear water. Super clear. This is definitely weightless, soft plastic, fling it type stuff here. Kind of shit where you like, get so locked in the looking and all of a sudden it's too light. Yeah, they're just, they're just up there doing their thing. Getting the mating rituals going first. Wow, that was my first uh, pairing that I've seen so far this year. Oh yeah, sandy spots. Not full lock on, but they're back here. I gotta switch up. We gotta, we gotta have that log game. You have logs? I figured you'd have a couple. I do, they're all six inches though. That's I mean, how you gonna come out here in March and not have a log? So the newest worm that you guys are going to see us fish today, it's called the pinner worm. It launches a couple weeks. It'll be up on the site. But any other plastics you guys want to get and really anything, you can save 10% off using my promo code LFG at GuggenSquad.com. Oh, oh, oh. oh, gosh. Do you want to meet it? Giant? How big? <laughs> and I'm so excited fishing today with John because we are literally watching the transition of fish going from winter into spring shallow mode. We're watching male bass come up and make beds and just hunt around and it's such a good time to be on the water. You got a seven inch. Uh... Oh, it's happening though. First frog hookup of the year though. That's okay, fishing freaks. So the last few videos for bass, we have been we have been going after this pre-spawn thing. This is this is sort of transitioning right now, so this is good. It's good for you guys to see the, the full program transition. So this is when I like to switch to these plastics. It's calm right now. And there's fish up shallow and they're being a little Sneaky doodles, being a little sneaky. So I'm gonna take a, just a worm hook here. I'm gonna take a worm hook and I'm gonna put a plastic on it and then I'm gonna fish that around. In this case, this is gonna be a six inch dart. And this is gonna represent any kind of bait fish just subtly moving through, whereas Casting a vibe jig or a lipless crankbait or a lot of the hard baits here um, You're disturbing that fish. They're they're in a, a love-making mood They're starting to touch tails And they're not aggressively feeding so What John is doing is he's throwing a frog which is a nice subtle bait on top and it's a good uh, 
good bed finding lure as well. And uh, I've got this dart, which is, you know, fishing a fluke, basically, like a watermelon red fluke. That's been one of my favorite uh, ways to catch fish when they get in the stage when it's right at low 60s. You got any Cinco's? Oh, God, dude, he just ate that. He just came up. You watched one eat? I watched him eat it. I don't know how he didn't have it. I mean, he three-pounder slurp rolled on it. A three-pounder? Yeah, flash. Okay. Full flash had him, like, felt the thump. almost think he was a, a deep garter. Well, John, I think he's captured. Are you at three? Are you at? I got three. You have three. All right. You, you wanted to... You wanted to return one of them. I have had two that have escaped me. So we got some uh, some fish. We're approaching a point right now, and there's some fish that are sort of staging out here in this grass. So we're throwing weightless plastics. And, uh, well, we've had about five bites in the last 10, 15 minutes, I, I would like say. We're actually fishing harder right now. We could have, like, maybe 30 fish. I mean, there's so many fish around There's here. a lot, I know. We're just kind of soaking it in right now. I know. I, I do like. I do really like what you have on. I almost want to try a more natural color. You got a couple of big armadillos down there. Is the big boy gonna eat it? Let's go, baby! Oh, Let's go! Oh! Go! I'm losing every one of them. Dead go! <laughs> this whole combination is not good. Well, look at you throwing. I'm just a straight worm on this, and it's well, not. It's not, not a good gap. It's, it's just bad. not good. <laughs> I love a hook set on a spinning rod. It just like bends over and your line like cracks over, you know, because your rod's bending so much. It just feels good. I like getting them on spinning rods. All right, I'm, I'm switching. What are you going for? Daddy didn't raise no chump. <laughs> where's that, where's them pinner worms, son? Oh, right here. There's, I got pink, but I got different colors. I want to try another color. So I've just lost my third fish and uh, John is, is just straight licking them here, so uh, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna switch it up to what is known as a one of, one of our new baits. It has not launched yet, but it will. We plan on launching. We plan on it. So popular rigging style. The uh, do you say Nico or Neko? I say Nico. You're you're Nico guy. I'm gonna follow your lead there. So basically just a, a schmancier, wacky rig. We got a guy that's got a big bass over here. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. Pre-spawn chunky. Yeah, of course, bro. Ryan, nice Ryan. Fish, man. Wack Did you wacky worm that one? Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's, what that's what we just put on. <clears throat> Seems to be the deal, doesn't it? That's a good fish. Got him. Good. Ooh. Dig. Digging a little bit. Here we go. Oh, it's a nice one, man. Come on now. Oh, she's coming around. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You got your hands full. You got your hands full. I got her on the little rod here. Was that the <sighs> crappie stick? No, when you only catch one every hour, you got to play them out, dude. <laughs> Yeah. It is tugging pretty hard though. It's a nice fish. That's oh, nice. Oh yeah, definitely the biggest one of the day for sure. Looks like barely hooked. Mm. Is that meat? Uh, That's that some fish meat, brother. Beat up. It has been doing some action in the shallows. Look at that. Mm. Love to smell you. Smell you later. Oh, a black one. This one's black. Dude, I've been wanting a, just a straight up black worm. Oh, me too. Doubled up on dinkies. Doubled up on dinkies. Who's still got their pinner worm? Look at this guy gyrating. Wow. <laughs> this is what we came out here for, baby. Biggins. Biggins. Dude, we're trying to hit that 30 pound mark. How are we gonna do that? 30 inch mark, maybe. We found the grass. Yeah, we found the grass. It found us, actually. So how are we gonna get out of here? I don't know. I'm waiting, dude. I'm waiting for the, oh, there's one. 
Oh, come on, baby. I bet you only know. Yep. I bet my bottom dollar right. Little worm down the hatch. Oh yeah. Nice one, brother. See the bed? I mean, look at that. Look at the calories this guy has burned. He's chased off a few worms in his day. Wow, this water looks amazing back here. Clean. 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 I gotta tell you, looking at fish, I'm kind of about that right now. What do you say? I'm about that looking at these fish right now. Mm -hmm. This is really f fun. Dude, uh, no, a, a uh. Ooh, nice one. Come on, baby. Nice. Let's go. Nice. That's a good one. That's better. Now we're talking. Uh, maybe. Come on. Don't do that to me. Why you gotta downgrade my fish mid, Sorry. mid swim? Sorry. That's a nice one, man. That's beautiful fish. <laughs> that's, that's what you say when it's small. You're like, it's beautiful. That's a chunky male, though. That's a chunked up male. He's got a black spot on his tail. Kind of cool. You know, I've been waiting like 12 months to do this since the last time it happened. Just dream about it. Just. You dream about when that water hits 64, just going up there to look at him. We're looking at him, boys. See a little chunk. It's pistachio. Ooh. God. Oh, gosh. There we go. That's a good one, man. You need help with that guy? or? Okay. Stay hot with the pinner worm. He's gone. Shoo! Oh, Dude, that's a freshie. Freshie just moved Look up. at that. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm just seeing black tails swimming everywhere, everywhere dude. Yeah, this is nuts. We are in the spawn zone. This is, <laughs> this is awesome. This maybe possibly the bone zone? This is the bone zone. The bass bone zone. Oh my gosh, look at this one. I'm about to catch this one out of bed. He's, he's about to crunch it. He's coming way out of the bed to eat it. Oh, oh. my gosh. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, he, no, he's cut. He's, I'm like, I'm in his bed now. So there's, there's animosity. Oh. And oh. oh I think he's yeah. Oh, oh, no. There it is. Dude. They are fired up. It's right now. going now. They are fired up. Like I think we're, I think we're watching some males come in and make these beds. I don't know if these were here this morning. So fun. I was just looking at like five fish all together right there. Oh, wow, spotted lip. Do you think they get that during the spawn? Is that No, I think it's a it's a yearly. yearly. I got it all the time. I know, you know, crappie get, uh, get those black spots, but I think they? Yeah. They get darkened up, I guess. So cool. This is it, dude. Yeah. I mean, I feel like we need a push pole and a beer. Oh, you literally read my mind right there. <laughs> Me and John have been waiting for this this moment for a long time. You know, I think it was actually last year where you and I uh, we went up in a creek. It was either March or whatever, and we we both experienced our first uh, you know bedding experience for the first time. It was like late March, and it was still cold. I yep. remember, and it was actually kind of weird that we saw them on beds because the water was still pretty chilly. That is good. That is great. Fun times! Oh, dude, look at the gar in like an inch of water spawning up. Guys, I gotta tell you, this worm, it's, it's actually amazing in the water, this action. This water's so clear right here, you can probably see this black one pretty decent. But that twitch neko style my goodness it's perfect size too so if you wanted to skip this or just do whatever i mean it is nasty absolutely more than enough so for anyone that has never seen a bass bed before this is it this is a really good example so all this would be uh, an, an algae bottom but because of these fish are coming in here and they're uh, fanning out the bottom it, because they want a harder surface to, to lay their eggs in, that's what it ends up looking like. 
so that that's that's what you look for uh, this time of year and if you're lucky you can find a really big bass in one of these shallow ones but usually the bigger bass are gonna bed somewhere out there where you can't really see them they're pretty smart about that but every once in a while you'll see a big one up shallow and I have caught some over the 10 pound mark that that are uh, up there and it's pretty exciting when you see one there's just something about sight fishing something about sight fishing is just exciting i don't care if you're catching an eight incher or an eight pounder it's just it's one of the best things in fishing That's a good one. Hey, right on, as the lead in. Lead in. The lead in. Quality oh. How's your smell? Good smell and rear end on that thing. Stinky. <laughs> Beautiful. Hey, man. We got all freaking day. Let's make the most of it. Well, ma'am. Dude, there's just beds right on the outside of this grass line. Deep ones. This is obviously not a big one, but there are. Look at that healthy fish. He's a little less beat up. Very nice. Very nice. Looking for Tina. I think I've actually gone through a whole pack of black. Might need to take a peek. Oh, oh please, dude. Running off like crazy, bro. So we might need to take a peek at a couple of these little every once in a while just yeah. to see if, if Nadine has moved up. Now recording. Here we are. There's Caleb in the back taking a whiz. Getting the full scenery here, folks. You don't get to see the behind the scenes very much. I don't know if you can see these beds, but we are just in the zone. Look at that fat boy. Fat boy healthy, man, my gosh. This is just absolute fun. We are in the fun zone. We are at Fun Mountain, at the peak of Fun Mountain. We're when we hit, we, fun, fun <laughs> we're summiting the peak right now. Folks, we are, uh, I just switched to a Lunker Log and as you would expect, <laughs> caught one. It's that time, it is that time of year. Plastic time. <laughs> What, what time did you say it was? I said it's plastic time. Plastic time. time. It's plastic 30. Look at your watch, folks. When that water is hitting 60, I'm going to say 60, really. It really starts kicking in. But, man, we're hitting 64, 65. Now, when we get before that, I, I honestly don't even really fish plastics really until March, usually every year. I fish hard baits, you know, but jerk baits lipless cranks cranks all the hard things don't ask me why it's such a big switch um we we're fishing a grass lake and it's more effective because we can get it through there but that's that's not it it's just they just eat them they want the wigglies and jigglies right now so googlesquad.com you must get lunker logs get some of the new pinner worms when they come out oh yeah just like get hooked up baby like that, it is that time I, just the, oh, God. sorry, in my bad, bro. Dude, literally, you belly landed my me. Bad. My it was bad. right in my belly. That was, was aggressive. Use my code LFG, googlesquad.com. And uh, it's a big difference from if we throw a hard bait right now to a plastic. It's, it's big. Gone. Plastics? Gone. Look at your watch. Plastic time. Got to get a shot of these hams because I think they're 
They're ready to come out of the oven. These ones? No, they're overcooked, man. <laughs> there's no going back. They're not looking good. Yep, you need to probe those. Those are at 185 right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's that weather where it's like in between shorts and pants. And uh, it feels like shorts weather, but man, early on, early on in the year when your legs aren't ready for it yet, it can really be hurtful on those, those legs. Okay, watermelon red pinner worm. Tell me that's not gonna get a bite. Just a little bit of weight in the head. And this, this baby will fall head first into that grass. And then it pops up like a little peekaboo surprise. And they're like, ooh, I gotta have that worm. Mmm, that's tasty. This technique's been around actually a really long time. Back when wacky rigging was really popular when I was a guide. People would often take um, like a, a zoom trick worm. Like a, it, the finesse worm, actually. See, look at that. Like, I'm hooked up. No, just I'm just hooked up. I switched to the pinner worm. It's it's on, dude. I'm gonna join you. I'm gonna join you. What I was gonna say was the uh, fishing like a regular, you know, cinco style bait. Sometimes it's it's not exactly the the action that they don't want. It's just the I don't know. It's the profile. So this is just a little smaller profile. Same type of action though. Same type of deal. And you just get them. Like sometimes with those uh, wacky rigs with a bigger, thicker plastic, it just folds up and you, you don't get a good hook set. The fish will fold it up in their mouth. This is almost a guarantee you're going to get a hook in there. Yeah. And that's what it is. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. That's a big one, dude. Oh, dude, that is a nice. A you need help with that, dude? Oh, I got him, dude. That's a baggy. <laughs> as soon as you pick up the worm. Yeah. I just gotta, I gotta fish what they're eating. Oh, oh. God, dude, this is an actual big one. That's a nice one by the five pounder. I think it's bigger than that. Mm. Let's go, baby. Mm. Oh, swallowed the worm. Just thump it hard? Oh yeah, like just a thump. Thunk. Yeah, just a thunk. As Rackley put so eloquently, pattern continues. Get back behind this wall, do a little chunking. Yes. Yes, sir. Good one? It can't be. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Might be. Nice. Up there on the bonk. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby! Yeah. It's just long. Oh. oh gosh, your boat is deep. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir, brother. Oh. Oh. It's a specimen. Pinning them on the pinner. This little spot right here is just a. Uh, it's a little nook behind this grass wall and it got super clear. They just had to be in there. Bass really do like clear water for their spawning. It's like they like to see each other, you know? Yeah. They like to keep the lights on. <laughs> nice fish. Let it go. See you, buddy. Mm. Bye. Baby. Right on the bank. Is it a different color? Oh, this is not the pink? Dude, giant. Two giants. Just swam right off. 
That's her. That's her. That's her. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's not. It's a little guy. It's a good one, though. Not fish. I was it's on the back side. Oh, look, look, it's gonna... It's gonna jazz that other one yeah. up. We're gonna get salty. Oh, yeah, look at, look at, look at, there's a Oh, yeah, one. yeah, yeah. There's look at that, one. dude. It's a good one. Look at this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip in there. There's two. Look at them. There's I two. I see. No, I see. Oh, nice. That's cool. They do not like that. Oh, they boy. They don't. That's a good one. That's like a five they pounder. They, it's like they don't like the smell of that other one in there. Like, get out of here, you stinky. Throw that glide. Throw the glide? Yeah. The glide sink. Come on, baby. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Twitch. Twitch. Oh, yeah. Immediate. Twitch. Immediate. Twitch. 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 Oh, dude. He's coming back around. Oh! Oh, Jesus. Did he, he, did he smack that? What, what just happened there? I don't know. A little too much twitch. Just a tight little... Tight little doop, doop. Doop, doop. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so excited. No, no, you're good. You're good. I'm, I'm just trying to get a big good. reaction. I, I twitched my rod and this thing went four feet know, to the left. Oh! You hit it. Yeah. You see the big line? One? See the line? Yeah, I, don't I, know which, I don't know which one it was, but... Got cranked, dude. Get that flat bill out, son! We out here gliding. It's out here gliding. Glad you missed the boys. Is there one right there? Up here in the reeds, yeah. A little spanky. There's two of them. Oh my gosh, they're roll they're spanking each other right now. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh! He's taking me in the reeds. There's a lot going on. Oh. I just had one of them. I'm looking at three sight fish back here. Three yeah, they're just. This one was on the bed with another one. And there's another solo guy. And then there's, you know, a four pounder over here and a three pounder. And they're just. Oh. I watched this little morning dawn worm just disappear into its mouth. Just, boop, just be gone. The pinner was gone. I think it's a bigger one. You sure? Yeah. Look at the females. I'm going to follow up. Follow up. She's strong. She's with her man. She's standing by her man. Can you keep in the water or no? No, nah, we're not. We don't need to get that. We're not doing that. Technical. Oh, she's jerking over at the jig, man. She, she don't like it? She came right to it. Oh, she's on it. She just flipped. She rolled on it. Wow. Angry. This is a big, angry one here. Can you put it back? God. Yeah, you can put it back. No way. Mm -hmm. Just picked it up again. Oh my gosh, bro. Got it. Let me switch the jig. You switch take that one. Okay. I'll we'll switch to this one. A little trusty. A little trusty. A little tried and true. Right? Okay. Perfect. That's a good one. Did you get him? Oh, that's a good one. Ah! Ah! That's her. That's it. Nice, man. Oh. That was unreal. I did not know what to do in that circumstance. I was like, oh my gosh. I couldn't boat flip it, man. It just got a little, a little heavy. That was so sweet, y'all. So we had t literally two fish here at the end of the day, fired up. John caught the mail. I thought they were gonna eat that glidey glide. And just uh, one of my all time favorites for fishing bed fish, when they're cantankerous, the jig. That was awesome. I think we threw like five different I mean, she was just thumping it so hard. God, I'm gonna let this fish go. Nice fish, we're gonna let it go right back to its bed. It's always cool to see that behavior interacting. So, you know, some people say when you take the male off the bed, the female won't bite. Sometimes it's the opposite. I don't know. You got to watch every fish and they're all different. But I'm telling you, I threw that, that jig in there and we had blue three times. And mid finally. Mid-sentence set the hook too. Yeah. Day God. I just want to end the day on that. That just, just completes my day. That's my much, gosh, much. I love the spawn. I love Texas. Hey, yeah. go! Oh. No! Nice one. There we go. Stuck him. Oh man. 
on the morning dawn. Look at him. Just. Do you think it's gonna be like this? Get him on the worms, dude. No, I did not. I thought it was gonna be more of a moving bait, kind of grind it out, maybe catch a giant. But honestly, what's more fun? You know, I, <laughs> we're just catching. I like catching them. Mm. It's probably the best uh, weightless worm bite I've been on in a, in a minute. That was weightless. I was just twitching oh, it on top, like a yeah, you know, like a floater worm. Yeah. Oh wow! I just had one, and I do have one. I mean, oh, he almost threw the worm into the boat. Wowie! Had quite a few doubles today. Hey, buddy. Cheers. Cheers. I love this. This is fun. I love this so much. Just some brain dead, shallow water, finesse worm fishing. Need help? Got her. What'd you catch it on? Quite all right. Fishing in the spring is sort of weird when you get like, you get fish that are kind of going up to spawn and then they'll, they'll stay up there, but then they don't want to eat a lot of the other stuff. This is when the plastics really come into play. And, um, uh, this rig right here is just the ultimate finesse, weightless plastic when uh, you're fishing that shallow water. And what's really cool about this is you can also skip it under cover. So you could skip this under docks. You could skip it under um, trees and brush lines and things like that and get it up under where you might see fish uh, spawning or maybe they're just sitting. I'm fishing the size two or size That's a size one. two. This is a size two. Uh, John's fishing the size one. This is the gold series wide gap finesse hook. I could fish both the lunker log and this bait on this one. Uh, the size one would be better suited for this in, in my opinion. John, do you like fishing? I don't like fishing, I love fishing. I just want more of those pink worms. How come you got a ton? I, I got like none. They just sent it, they, like the crew just sent it to me a couple days come ago. On, I was like, I gotta bring these when we're fishing. I've honestly been waiting on this day like for a month, I've been going out and I'm like, oh, oh, it's almost, water's almost 65 and then it's like finally here. We witnessed it. It was a great, great time out here with John B. By the way, go ahead and check out my man here. He's actually got a, uh, a recent video that I thought was a excellent, excellent video and throws a little perspective on fishing and electronics and everything right now. So he'll be linked here. Go, go check that Thanks, video bro. out. We're gonna be doing another adventure. Uh, we're actually gonna be heading over to John's camper uh, i've never uh, been in that thing we're going to get a little tour of that and we're going to be going to a completely different lake that i've been wanting to fish for years that could have some monsters for sight fishing so subscribe to the channel smash that like button and we'll see you on the next adventure